we can do is if you're able to stay around for lunch, we can actually go ahead and answer some of those questions too. Because there will probably be that question, a whole bunch of other questions, because there is so much that we're going over in such a short period of time. So the three elements to the boss system is DNA for people, and that's what you know Wendy went over. Okay. When you look at your biggest challenge, the one you all want to solve, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The one you want to solve, it may come in the DNA for people. Okay. Or it may be a DNA for business, which is the 530 grid. So let's give it up for John. You know, Mark, I might agree with you on the tables, just because it took me to <laughs> <laughs> I was fighting for that this morning. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to jump into the 530 grid. Uh, a couple quick questions before we start. If you guys could, uh, we're actually on box 11, you sheet. So I know it's a little dark up here. So we um, might be a little easier for you to follow along there. Um, so uh, Wendy, good job with the going over DNA for people. You guys see how understanding people could work into creating more business for yourself or creating more profitable relationships? Right? So what's number one in business? Clients. Right? Clients and people. That's how we generate our business. That's how we get uh, that's how we get paid. People pay us for our services, right? So how would you guys like to generate better quality leads? Definitely. Absolutely. Right? Better quality leads. How would you guys like to make more money and work less hours? Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh. And so that's kind of what this 530 grid does for us. So it gives us a way to uh, create a client for life, walking through the steps of marketing, pre-sales, thank you Mark, uh, the sales, servicing, and then reaching the ultimate goal of client for life. It's kind of like a pathway that we get our clients down. Um, and this 530 grid, I actually came up with this when I was sitting down, it's like a treasure map, right, for our business. So it's gonna show us where we have to go um, step by step to creating the most profit in our business. And this area here, you want, can you do that? Thing. All right, we call it the golden triangle. Uh, that's kind of like our X. That's where the treasure is buried, right? So that's where we focus most of our attention with the 530 grid. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to kind of combine our top of the month fine tuning, and we're going to match this together. We're going to create a profitable system for our business. Okay. Um, so real quick, the six steps in the golden triangle: identifying targets. Right. So we have specific businesses. We want to target specific markets. Right, specific people, we're not just out there marketing to everyone. There's certain people we're looking for depending on the service and the business that we have. Uh, develop and deliver a message. So once we identify those targets, we want to deliver a specific message towards them. Right? We're not gonna go uh, try to sell white, like ketchup popsicles to people in white dresses. Right? <laughs> Sorry, that's the only thing I can So develop and deliver a message for your specific target. Right? Uh, track 100% of the leads. If you don't track all of your leads, you're going to lose business. Right? That's how it works. And then you're not going to have an accurate representation of your business. And right? so if you're leaving out, so every time you don't get a sale, you're like, well, that lead doesn't count. You're, you're misrepresenting your business. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to be successful. Right? Ask key questions. Number four. Uh, so once we get our target, once we deliver the message, once we're tracking our leads. When we're working with those clients, we want to ask the right questions. Right? We don't want to just ask the really other questions. We want to be specific uh, towards our goal, and that is uh, getting a sale or getting someone to join our team, whatever business we're in, right? Selling your service. Uh, implement 10, 10 plus strategic strike, um, and that's basically just going to be our follow up. Right? We want to stay in contact with a lot of leads. Um, you know, in the direct sales market, most people get a sale after five to seven touches. You guys know when the average salesperson stops? Or two, right? What, one, all right, Dan, your business is right not doing yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, we all learn the hard way. But that's what we're trying to help you guys get through some of that. So five to seven touches, most people give up after two. Is it a wonder why most small businesses fail, right? Um, and then last, well not last, but in the Golden Triangle, the last important part here is group people and messages. So, People the same family tend to flock together, right? So once we're able to identify our target, deliver a message that works, now we can start targeting groups of people, right? Lawyers hang out with lawyers. Uh, real estate investors hang out with real estate investors. Realtors hang out with realtors. 
so on and so forth. So now we can start targeting groups and kind of expand that. So how do we fine tune these systems to make it, make it even better, right? So a lot of us have businesses, right? A lot of us have our sales that we're generating. A lot of us are profitable. Right? How many people have a business that makes some, some money? Right, just a couple of us. <laughs> More some than a lot, right? So, so we're making we're making a little bit of money. We're doing good, but let's see if we can fine tune that and maybe take it to the next level. So, delivering a message. Did you guys know? Uh, for example, I had uh, sent out some leads, right, from Craigslist ads, and working with Ed and Mark, just kind of changing a couple words around improves my results dramatically. So there may be one or two words, maybe one or two phrases, maybe the way that your ad is laid out, uh, maybe the way that your message is laid out that could really change your, your results dramatically. Right? So fine tuning. Look at it, um, you wanna be changing too. So if something's not working, if you're not producing the right results, make sure you're tracking it, track 100% of your leads. If you're not getting the results you want, Start tuning it, right? Change around a couple words. Maybe switch up your message a little bit. Uh, and see how those results get. You'd be surprised how changing. I think Ed, was it you changed one word in your in one of your ads and almost tripled your results, correct? Just on my response when I was talking to people, I um, he had the same question. He asked it with the pauses in it. And I, I, would, I would ask, what what is your biggest challenge? They would tell me, and I'd be on the next question. Okay. Now they, I ask, what's your biggest question, challenge? They'll tell me, and if I can help them, I go, huh, I can help you with that. 20% more people come on Thursday night that, that say they're going to. So two words, a fine tuning of your system, creates 20% increase in your business, right? Um, asking key questions. Ed, thank you. You kind of just jumped right into that for me. Uh, and playing 10 steps right. So follow up is huge. Right? Maybe there's one or two things in your follow-up system that you could tune or tune a little bit that would dramatically improve the rate right? for people that either stay in contact with you. Um, and I'm going to jump to seven, referrals, just because I, I love referrals and I'm building, right now I'm building a good business on referrals. Um, the way that you ask for referrals may prohibit or alter the way that people give you referrals, right? So it's another, another little process that we could fine tune and just make sure that we're hitting solid. Yes sir, Dan. How are you asking then? Um, it used to be, hey, do you know anybody? Right, because everybody says no. Yeah. Right. So um, instead of just, do you know anybody doing this or that, um, who can you think of? Right, so not, do you know anybody? Who can you think of? Now, not only am I asking an open-ended question, right, instead of a yes or no, but they can just say no and be done with it. Now, I'm asking an open-ended question. I'm also forcing them to think. Right. You know, some people don't like to do. Do you uh, ever do the uh, like the word association game? Like, who, who can you think of? Who's the most ambitious person you know? I don't. Could you explain that? I mean, I guess that's just you're asking, so then you get their mind going, like, who's the most motivated person that you know? Okay. You know, who's the best teacher that you know, or who's the best? So could, can we say maybe that's uh, asking key questions? Right. Sure. So ask a few questions, ask the right questions, kind of lead people down that path, right? And kind of get the, I, I would say if you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers, right? right? So, perfect. Is there any other questions? About 530 grid, fine tuning the process a little bit, maybe uh, biggest challenge that you want to fine tune right now? We want to take the biggest challenge on right now. Everyone's perfect. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.